There's some new research out from public policy polling of Republican primary voters, and the results are beyond depressing. They say, quote, 57% of Republican primary voters support establishing Christianity as the national religion. 57%. Fifty-seven percent of Republicans, that means, specifically the primary voters, are against the First Amendment. That's exactly what that means. Now, I'm sure if you ask the question in that way, then they'll be, Oh, no, I love, I love the First Amendment, man. It's, the Constitution's great. If you say, hey, do you, uh, are you in favor of or against the First Amendment? If you just posed it that way, it'd be 100%. Uh, oh, yeah, I love the First Amendment. But then when you phrase it, with, drop the, the term First Amendment and just put in, uh, hey, do you support establishing Christianity as the national religion? 57%. Say, yeah, rock and roll. Christianity all day long. Again, I mean, it, this is why you see in Tennessee and Oklahoma and all these uh, places, they always have bills. Uh, we got to ban Sharia law. The fundamentalist is coming. Anyway, uh, can we now implement our Sharia law, Christian Sharia law? Could we do a Christian theocracy? See, they view it as competition. That's why they are they want to shut them down so fast. They're like, no, 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 we don't want your superstitious gobbledygook to rule the day. We want ours to do it. So step aside, let us implement ours. And then, of course, the irony is oftentimes the uh, Muslim fundamentalists and Christian fundamentalists on the issues, they agree on many of them. Just take out the term Muslim, put in the word Christian, and boom. Or take out Quran, put in Bible. Uh, take out uh, Muhammad, put in Jesus, and, you know, it's almost interchangeable here. Now, uh, furthermore, only 30% of Republican voters believe that Congress should not make a law respecting an establishment of religion. So even when they phrased it the same way it's phrased in the Constitution, laws respecting an establishment of religion, and the Constitution says you cannot make laws respecting an establishment of religion. So even when they framed it that way in the poll, only 30% of, uh, of Republican voters, the primary voters, said that, yeah, Congress should not make law respecting an establishment of religion. The overwhelming majority were like, what do you mean? If it's our religion, then fuck yeah. Absolutely. Uh, get this. This is one of my favorite ones in the poll. 74% have a favorable opinion of former President George W. Bush. 74%! <laughs> In many ways, that's even more pathetic than, than the thing about the First Amendment. Because we all just lived through it! Do you not know what happened? We had the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession under his watch because of his deregulatory policies, his right-wing economic policies. How can you live through that? I mean, the dude lost 646,000 jobs overall in his, uh, from the private sector in his time in office. That's unheard of. I mean, even Jimmy Carter, who's widely viewed as a bad economic president, he created a million jobs. Bush lost 646,000. The dude was an economic disaster. The dude was a disaster in terms of the deficit, which is an issue that Republicans say pretend that they care a lot about, but apparently they don't because Bush was the worst on that front and they don't give a shit. He was arguably the worst foreign policy president in American history. I mean, just terribly mishandling wars, doing one in Afghanistan and Iraq. Look, I don't even think everybody kind of casually accepts that the war in Afghanistan was like the smart war. I don't think so. I think if you wanted to get back at Al-Qaeda for what happened on 9-11, and that does make sense, you do it the smart way of using special forces and going specifically after Al-Qaeda. You don't invade an entire nation and start fighting people who had nothing to do with it. I mean, as bad as the Taliban is, and they're bad, they're not the ones responsible for 9-11. It was Al-Qaeda, so you should have only went after Al-Qaeda, and you should have uh, popped Osama bin Laden in the face and called it a day and then come home, you know? That's it. <laughs> I mean, that's the mastermind, the so-called mastermind behind it. Go get him and then call it a day. Instead, we got Saddam Hussein, who had nothing to do with it. We got Osama bin Laden. And then I love how the, like, nobody brought up, okay, great, I guess we're done now, right? It just everybody was like, okay, we did it. And let's stay in these different countries that we shouldn't be in in the first place. So it's like we reached the goal, and then everybody's just like, well, I guess we're staying. What, the, what do you mean we're staying? Why would we stay? That doesn't make any sense. That makes absolutely no sense.
So he was the worst foreign policy president, a shitty economic president. I don't even need to go into the ridiculousness of like how he was on science issues. Look at what he did with stem cells, for example, stem cell research. He stopped stem cell research. Why? Because of the his ridiculous base, which uh, got him into office, the evangelical Christians. He threw a bone to them, and in the process, inevitably hurt people with diseases that needed this research to happen, and it didn't happen. So the dude was a disaster across the board, but 74% of Republicans are like, well, he's a Republican, so I guess I'm for him. I guess I like him because he's a Republican. See, this is what I mean. You have a know-nothing crowd. This is a know-nothing crowd, this Republican Party, where everything is from the gut, everything is visceral, everything is surface level. Do you really think you can have a policy substance discussion with the 74% of people who said Bush was a good president? It's not possible. It's not possible because they don't know anything. They know nothing. Just like that uh, report that came out a while ago, which found that people who watch Fox News know less than people who watch no news. It's like they de-educate you if you watch Fox. Because they're giving you bad information. Bad information is worse than having no information. And that's what that study showed. Still not done. 66% of Republican primary voters do not believe in global warming. 66% don't believe in climate science. The consensus on science. That's like saying 66% of Republicans don't believe in gravity. There's a scientific consensus on that. And it's, it's just a theory. Evolution is just a theory, man. Just like gravity. Gravity is just a theory. You do know that the term theory in scientific terms does not mean what, what it means when you use it in casual conversation. No, that would be hypothesis. A hypothesis is the one that's untested and we're just taking a shot here. And then after you go through the entire process, the scientific method, if at the other end you have the, a theory which holds true that's as close to a fact as you could possibly get. And then also we have 49% of Republicans, and I should say it's a plurality of Republicans, do not believe in evolution. So more people, just so you fully understand here, more people answered, I do not believe in evolution in the Republican parties, in the Republican Party, than answered any other question, than anything else on that question. So more people said, I do not believe in it, than said, I believe in it, and said, I don't know, or a mix of it. <laughs> they actively hold back the nation. Do you understand that? They actively hold us back. They're the dead weight that people like you and me have to drag along into the next century.